Hello everyone, welcome to another Hertz Drums tutorial. Today we're gonna be talking about the ADSR curve, which stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain and Release. Basically, it helps you shape up the sounds coming out of the plugin more accurately. Alright, let's loop this crash hit. The first parameter is the attack. It's the time it takes for the note to go up from zero to its peak loudness. The longer the attack time, the softer the hit feels. Okay, then we have the release value. This is the time it takes the sound to fade out to complete silence. Its default value is off, which means that the sample just plays till the end and fades out naturally the way it was recorded. But by moving this handle, we can set a certain fade-out time. You can cut it off completely or make it just a bit shorter. And there's also three fade-out shape options. Linear, Fast, and slow. Now let's talk about decay and sustain. I'm gonna move the decay handle somewhere around here and set the sustain to 50%. This means that it takes the sound this amount of time after it reaches its peak volume to drop in volume by 50%. And then it stays at 50% until the fade out kicks in. Listen closely. Let's now select the snare drum and crank up the reverb. You can apply the ADSR curve to the entire instrument or just to a selected group of samples played by this instrument. So, for example, we can now use it to shape up the reverb fade out without affecting the rest of the snare samples. Remember that if you go back to the All mode, these rev settings will no longer apply. As you can hear, this is a very flexible tool that allows you to customize your drum tones even further. That's all for today's video, thanks for watching and stay tuned!